Okay, so you've, you've done Planet Hulk, you have World War Hulk coming up. After that, do you, do you plan to stick around on the Hulk for a while, or is it too far down the road? Well, I can't say too much, but um, I think I can say that we, we have, uh, uh, we have, a, we have a, a story in mind, a big story, um, that adds to the Hulk mythos, and uh, that's as much as I can say right now. Okay. Um, now, you, you do your own version of the Hulk. Everyone does their own version of the Hulk pretty much when they come on, or, or it's, it's very common for it to have that happen. Um, what versions, you know, from the past were, were your favorite? Yeah, I mean, I'm honestly, uh, I'm just a fan of the character, period, so I, I love almost every incarnation of the Hulk that's out there. Um, the way I see it, the Hulk, and it's all consistent to me, like in my head, you know what I mean? Because to, the way I see it is like, the Hulk is, uh, you know, when the Hulk comes out, the Hulk is a reflection of whatever Bruce Banner is repressing. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, you know, and and, um, and depending on the kind of life experiences Bruce Banner has been going through, the Hulk, when he comes out, it's going to be different. You know what I'm saying? And depending on the circumstances and the environment, the Hulk will be different um, because we are not the exact same people we were two years ago or three years ago. And the great thing about the Hulk, you know, the concept of the Hulk is that it allows for that kind of, you know, those 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 differences. So you can have a character that's growing and developing and, and changing in interesting ways. Um, you know, so so to me, it's all like it, it all makes sense. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I love the the version of the Hulk we're working with now because he's um, he's almost like the Clint Eastwood Hulk, and that, that you know, like he you know he. He doesn't say a lot, but but um, but when he's when he speaks, it's always to the point. You know, it's succinct and it's tough and it's you know he's hardcore. Um, he's not the caveman talk Hulk. He's smart and he'll, he'll you know he can learn and and he's that makes him even more dangerous. But he's just as angry as the Savage Hulk, and and you never know what he's going to do next. So that makes him you know dangerous and interesting at the same time because he's growing emotionally and intellectually but at the same time he's still a loose cannon um, the and, and to be honest this version of the Hulk is very much like the very original version of the Hulk those first six issues of the Incredible Hulk this the Hulk talks like he talks in our story um, other my other kind of favorite versions of the Hulk I mean I honestly am a I have a huge big place in my heart for the Savage Hulk for the caveman talk Hulk you know uh, Recently, uh, Eric Powell, I think, did a uh, Hulk Devil Dinosaur crossover. It was like a one-issue book, and it was like this kind of cartoony-style book where you know Hulk was fighting Devil Dinosaur, which is one of the, the great cornball Marvel characters, you know. And um, I, you know, it's just incredibly charming and just a lot of fun. I mean, I, I love that version of the Hulk, um, and I, I love the silent, you know, brooding Hulk from the television show, you know, from the Bill Bixby television show. That's also a great version of the Hulk. I'm kind of a sucker for them all. But um, you know, it sort of depends on where, where the you know where you are in in this grand life story of Bruce Banner. You know, which version of the Hulk makes the most sense to work with. But uh, I've had a lot of fun doing it. So now that you're moving away from the the Planet Hulk environment back to the the Marvel Universe proper, do you have any plans to revisit the 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 world of Planet Hulk in the future, or do you know if if it's something that you know? you feel like you want to go back to? Again, I can't say too much for fear of spoilers, but it will not be forgotten. Okay. And uh, aside from the Hulk, I mean, you said you got to play with a, lo a lot of other different characters as well. Are there, are there some that you, you want to play with that you still haven't got yet, or what would be your dream assignment? Yeah, absolutely. There are a few, uh, there are, there are a few of the X-Men characters that I'd love to do more with. I mean, I love Storm. I think Storm is an amazing character. And, you know, she's definitely in excellent hands now. There are, there are folks who are doing great, you know, doing things with her. But eventually, when the time is right, I'd love a chance to do something with Storm. Uh, I, uh, Magneto is an incredibly, it's one of the best Marvel characters ever. And uh, I hope to get my hands on Magneto someday. Um, I mean, there's some, uh, uh, there are a couple other characters that I'm also, totally fascinated by, but I'm not going to mention now for fear of jinxing it, because I'm actually trying to figure out how I can get my hands on them. <laughs> so I'm not going to spill that yet. I have an Iron Man story in the back of my head that I'd like to do someday. Um, you know, probably it would be, uh, you know, probably as a mini or something like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I the, the great thing about the Marvel characters is that almost every one of them has some, you know, great little human quirk that makes it makes the character totally compelling and, and they've also got like some great metaphor you know what I mean like the Hulk is all about anger you know we yes anger is an emotion that we're incredibly familiar with particularly here in New York <laughs> but um, uh, but you know and, and and it's it's kind of like you know this great theme of like the cost of anger is uh, that's endlessly fruitful you know what I mean and I think almost all the great Marvel characters have a similar thing like that going on 
So uh, yeah, I mean, there's, I, I mean, when I first started working in comics, you know, like or in, at Marvel, people would, uh, you know, I talk to editors and say, well, what do you think about this character? And I'd be like, you know, it would be a character I might be vaguely familiar with, and I think about it for a minute. I'd do a little research, and then I'd find out, yeah, this is an awesome character. You know, <laughs> almost all of them have some really great hook. It's just a matter of like getting the right take on it and doing it at the right time. And do you like working on an ongoing series now as opposed to the minis that you were doing before? Again, I'm, you know, like, I, I definitely have uh, uh, enjoyed it a lot with the Hulk. At the same time, like, the story I did with the Hulk is almost like a, it's, it's a maxi series. It's, you know, this Planet Hulk 14 issue arc. Um, so, uh, you know, I honestly, I'm, I'm up for anything as long as uh, it's a story that's, that, that matters that I can get my, sink my teeth into and have fun with. And so far, that's what's happened. I'll be, you know, I'm going to be perfectly happy to do more minis, you know. Um, at some point, if I can get on another ongoing, I'll be thrilled with that too, I'm sure. But uh, it all comes down to like, what is the story at hand? And, and, and do I have a take on it that I feel I can really contribute to? Thanks, Greg. You bet, thank you.